tremendous support here for Ross. He seems confident and energized. Will it affect him with a, a last minute pull out there and an alternate stepping in, Stuart? The referee brings both fighters to the center of the ring. Again, for your reference, we have Ross boxing out the red corner with the black shorts, rest and trim. And Dean Stewart, we have Stewart boxing out of the blue corner with the gray shorts and black trim. Stewart looking a little bit nervous as the bell goes to start the first round. Fast start from Ross. Coming in. Oh, caught with a counter punch. Will that be a knockdown? Lovely counter there from Stewart. It looked like a left uppercut to me. The referee has ruled that as a slip. Ross perhaps a little bit more cautious now about stepping in. After feeling one of Stewart's counters. Caught Stewart there with this looping left hook. Ross seems very energized tonight. Lots of movement, lots of head movement and foot movement. Wondering if that's going to burn him out a little bit. Whereas Stewart seems to be holding the center of the ring a little bit more and looking to pick his punches. Short exchange there from both fighters. Stewart using the jab. Showing a little, throwing a little flurry there. Push there from Ross. I think he's going to get a warning from the referee. Wiping gloves there for Stewart. Touch of gloves of, and respect from both fighters. Ross is falling a little bit short there with his jab. Backs himself into a corner. Is Stewart going to keep him in the corner and try and take advantage of this? Short little left hook there as Ross extradites himself from that corner. His work rate slowed down a little bit now, a little bit more flat-footed. I think Stewart's a little more content to pick his punches and coming forward there with some lovely ones and twos to end the round strong. We're going to get the bell any second. And there's the bell to end the first round. Nice little right hand as Ross steps in there. Stewart coming straight back. Whoa, the referee nearly took one there. He steps in to separate the fighters. I'm not too sure why, holding the... Little apology there from both fighters. Ross and Stewart getting back onto it. Stewart again looking to, to corner Ross. He's changed the southpaw temporarily. Ross has slowed down a little bit, still looking to move around the ring. Stewart seems a bit heavier. Perhaps that's starting to tell on Ross a little bit. Short left hook, right hook counter there from Stewart. Just grazing the face there of Ross. Ross missing with his punches, which, which is going to tie you out. With all this movement Ross is putting together in the ring right now, combined with all these punches that he's throwing, this could well tire him out. Again, Stewart's content just to kind of hold the center of the ring and look for, look for gaps. Clinch there from both fighters. Clean break in without the help of the referee. Little four, five punch combination from Stewart. Referee breaking the fighters again. 
I think there because Ross was dropping his hands and looking down at the canvas. But Ross stepping forward there, trying to throw a right uppercut, like a floating right uppercut. His hands have dropped right down. I think Stewart's going to capitalize on this. Little right hand fought, fell short there from Ross. And he's tied himself out. Stewart coming forward, looking to land a right cross, left hook, left hook combination on the bell. You will be able to watch the footage of this presentation tonight on Peep Magazine. You can subscribe on YouTube. You can follow on Twitter at Peep Magazine. You can log on to the website and sign up for the mailing list. If you like your mixed martial arts, your boxing, your professional boxing, your kickboxing, Thai boxing, it's all there for you to find. Hug of, hug of respect there from both fighters as we move into the final round. Ross slowing down a little bit. Stepping forward with a right uppercut, left hook combination. Stewart again, just holding the center of the ring. Looking to land counters and really picking his punches. He's not trying to waste anything. Caught there on the way in. Straight down the middle. Ross steps forward with a left hook, right hand, but his hands are dropping. Catching Stewart there with a left hook. Both fighters tiring, I feel, in the third, end of the third round. Racing forward as the cameraman's nearly taken out there. Both fighters swinging from the rafters. Stewart looking to stabilize himself on the ring, on the ring ropes. Ross now seems to have the deeper gas tank. Both fighters though, hands way down, throwing wide punches at each other. As I say that, Ross comes down the middle with a one-two. Oh, a big looping right hand there from Ross. I think Stewart's very tired. He just keep his hands up and keep working. Perhaps go back to picking his shots. He may still take a judge's decision Stewart's corner waving him forward Ross's punches falling short you may have heard the 10 seconds clapper there Stewart's just trying to throw trying to throw both fighters swinging and there we have the bell for the end of the third round Stewart there, very tired after that really high, high energy performance. Lots of punches thrown there by both fighters as the crowd shows their appreciation. A referee's decision there for Cal Ross, who perhaps won that one on his movement, his work rate. Stewart faded a little bit there towards the end. Throwing a lot of punches. But the decision goes to Cal Ross.